All right, round one. We're going to keep this hand. Hmm. That's a good draw. Another black white deck. I see. Ooh. Top deck of the century. All right, I don't think I'm going to attack into uh, combat tricks, so we're just going to jam the Envoy and set up for our Shrieker and Angel Renewal and such. Be pretty satisfied with that. Oh, all right. You've been completely disregarded. Oh, this guy probably got all the black-white removal and we got all the good creatures. That's my guess. Um, play the Shrieker. Yeah, I guess we'll show that we have colorless mana. Because I want to be able to pump it twice next turn. Plus, I can get it out of complete disregard range now, so that's good. Huh. It's a curious decision. Ooh. Blood Bond Vamp is pretty sexy here. Wait, I could have used uh, Holdout Settlement. I forgot. I could have tapped my Envoy just to gain a life. I should have done that. It's okay. We're going to play Bloodbound Vamp this turn anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to attack with an Unpumped Shrieker. And then use the Settlement uh, to pump with the Envoy at the end of my opponent's turn. Guess I should have been noting my opponent's been missing land drops here. All right. I don't think we have any enchantments in our deck, right? Hmm. So I can play Unknown Shores. So I can play Angel of Renewal. I have Dazzling Reflection as well. That's pretty good. Maybe I just attack with Blood Bond Vamp and a Shrieker pumped by Unknown Shores, so he has to double block it. And then I can Reflection. I can bring this to a 6-6 six -six with the Dazzling Reflection. I think this is going to be a pretty busted turn, actually. So let's pump here. We're going to swing with Shrieker and Bloodbond Vamp. So 
bring it up to 5-5. Five, five. He's not going to anticipate Dazzling Reflection. Hmm. Well. All right. Let's, uh... Get a white mana... And then do this. All right, I mean, I would say that worked pretty well. All right. Opponent did not find the fourth land in time, so mirror match, but my I basically got all the allies and I imagine my opponent got some of the removal. Is my assumption. So, classic this format. Classic Oath of the Gatewatch. Someone drafts all the good removal in black white, someone drafts all the good allies. Uh yeah, we legitimately just do not have sideboard really i mean maybe a boulder salvo and a pinch same thing with brood butcher that's about it though for the most part this is the deck and how we're running it four swamps and this mess is not gonna happen gotta do better than that all right this hand on the other hand is good I'm going to bottom the angel because we're kind of hunting for more removal. All right, sludge crawler. All right. Castigator. Um, I guess we'll play this slaughter drone. Probably going to end up Could have done the medic, I guess. Huh. Seems a bit preemptive. I cannot block flyers, my friend. All right. Hmm. Inbringer, you say. All right, let's uh, go hold out settlement, medic, and pass. So... Hmm. Guess I force him to pump with the sludge crawler. I'm willing to trade off a Stonehaven medic too. This seems fine to me. Hmm. Well, guess I get to bring it back, but. Would I prefer to bring back the Slaughter Drone or the Stonehaven Medic? Might actually be the Slaughter Drone. Well, we'll see. It might have to be the Medic unless I rip a black mana, huh? Ripped a white mana. So I'm not going to be able to Corpse Turn Slaughter Drone. So I guess I just bring back the Medic. Well, I guess we technically 
could get something else huh, with corpse churn, but we're going to pre-combat it. All creatures. Well, corpse churn not looking so bad. Um, I guess we do war cleric instead. I do, f I do feel as though I'm likely uh, making this trade, though. But I guess I don't have to. I mean, I get to play Translator next turn into Inbringer. I might just take another hit for three here. Not given the luxury. Well, that's okay, too. I was going to take the hit regardless, so... I guess Grasp doesn't te technically deal with Translator, but it kind of does... If he attacks into it. Uh, regardless, let's play a translator here. Next turn, I get an inbringer, which is good. Nice threat. I guess this dies to complete disregard, though. All right. Well, as expected, opponent got all the removal. And we got all the good creatures. It's pretty funny, you gotta admit. He's literally rode a core castigator for the last, is it four turns? <laughs> well, that was a good rip. Well, this worked out well. Probably have to attack into the raptor. I think I'm just going to have to top deck war. I can't quite win this race, I don't think, can I? Five turn clock. I guess it's a five turn clock either way. Hmm. He takes me down to seven. If I don't attack, do I, do I want to make this trade or not? I, I can't decide. I have no removal, so I think I have to make the trade. I don't have to, but I think I'm just going to. Well, I'm actually surprised he doesn't want to make it. But I'm happy he doesn't, I guess. I think it's ultimately better for us that he doesn't. Ultimately. Well, I mean, we're going to be able to win this race. Hmm. So what's the play? I 
Guess I kill the flyer and pass. That way I can block the cub and still use chain mage. Seems correct. There we go. It's a real hot ticket item there. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, guys. So insanely good. So, swing with these two. Tap this. Guess I should have. All right. Should have actually tapped my chain mage. But uh, so exactly as expected, my opponent got all the removal. I got all the creatures. In the end, the creatures overcame the removal. So go figure. All right. We'll see in round two.